Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dragon Eep here, and welcome back to another What If. Now, this one is What If Deku Came for the Future. Now, you might be asking yourself, from the future, Dragon Keep, what are you talking about? <sighs> now, let me explain. Explain. Izuku will be born the day that he was, but will be thrusted into the future and then brought back in back into the original timeline. But uh with that out of the way, here's another thing to get out of the way. In this video gets to 10 likes by the end of the month, I will continue it to the end of it. But, just need a second. <sighs> okay. With that out of the way, let's get, in, get straight into the video. Now it starts off when Izuku is Goo is four. Four. And this is two months before he was diagnosed as corkless. Everyone in school knew that Izuku was in fact corkless. But of course... That didn't stop Izuku from, well, being him, all heroic and whatnot. And exactly at this time, Bakugo go and is to call. Leagues, Wing Boy and Long Finger Man, man, were help, were bullying this kid for saying and saying things like he has no control over his quirk and that it's just plain useless. In fact, Long Finger Man went for a punch, but Izuku pushed the guy out, the kid out of the way, and took the punch himself. They, the, but Bakugo, Long Finger Man, and Wing Boy just chuckled at this. And the kid was like, "What? Why did you help me? Me? You, you don't have a quirk." Izuku says, "I know I don't have a. I know I don't have a quirk. But a real hero fights no matter what. What? He fights to save." people no matter what the cost and I'll make sure I'm just like that but Bakugo goes oh please you don't stand the chance of that quirk Deku oh. and And both, and Bakugo, go wing man and long finger, well, wing boy and long finger man, were in charge up to Izuku. Goo. But the bullied kid said, 
You're just too kind. We don't des we don't deserve a kid like you. Not this time. Not in this century any not in this millennia anyway. He put his hand on Izuku. Goo placed all fingers on him. And then poof. Izuku vanished. In the thin air. Which caused Which caused each of them which caused Bakugo, Wing Boy, and Long Finger Man, man to basically, basically get shocked. Bakugo asked, what, what did you do with him? Did you kill him? The kid said, No. That, that kid saved my life. So I made his life better. I merely just sent him in time. To him forwards in time. How long? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. And Wing Boy, Boy wasn't having any of it. He was like, you bring back Deku right now! Or however he talks. <laughs> and the kid was like, What's the problem? Put his hand in the air and said, "You Do you wish to join him? Frightened by this, this wing boy stepped back. Ten years have passed, and they still know. And they and there are still no signs of these of Izuku Midoriya. Yeah, and although that kid might have have done Izuku good, he didn't do too much good for the the whole Midoriyas. Yes. With Izuku with Inko go dying four months after Izuku vanished during a car crash. And his, and sadly, that was just the first of the Midoriya's deaths. And his father, Hisashi Midoriya, was the last of their deaths. Deaths. Izu and Bakugo couldn't help but help but wonder after five years, which it. Which was when he's, when Hasashi died. Izuku was the last Midoriya. But the only problem is, he's lost in time. There's no way, way anyone, one could know where he is. No one except that kid. But he moved ten years ago. Shortly the class said did, and Bakugo decided to take a shortcut. But Unfortunately, the sludge villain appeared and went, You'll make a great vessel, kid. The sludge villain went to attack, 
Bakugo went to Bakugo, however, went for a defensive and attacking position. Shin. But then out of nowhere, poof. The guy you see in the picture in front of you appeared out of nowhere. Where? With enforced armor. With futuristic armor that hasn't been invented yet. Yet. And futuristic binders. Just that act like. That act that's almost like. Like Cyclops's eye thingy. But boy, to keep his pow his quote unquote power were a secret. Well, technically, it was a power, but, anyways, the sludge villain said, a Teleporter? You're nothing against me. He's and the sludge villain when he went to attack the stranger. But hold on. Sorry about that. My brother was being a bit annoying. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. But then the intrude... ...dude's hands... ...hands and arms caught on fire. You're... as it started... ...and his legs and feet were on fire, too. As he started punching and kicking the sludge villain to dust. He then grabbed a plastic bottle and scooped up the remains of the sludge villain. Jamie. Hold on. Sorry about that. My uh, grandma needs some help. But back to what I was saying. Uh... What was I saying? Hold on. Oh, yeah. The stranger looked at... Put up his... His shirt to see... For him to see a futuristic... What looks like a time machine. And it was empty. He then took it off and said, Oh well, technically this is when I'm s where I'm supposed to be right now. Goodbye, future. I'll miss you. And then, and then crushed his... And then crushed it. He of course turned the fire. Gear off from his hands and feet and arms and legs. He then crushed the device with his bare hand. Oh, visor! That's what it was! Okay. That's what it's called. Okay. Anyways. Bakugo... Go... 
go confused saying, Who the hell are you? And Dizuku stared at him and said, All right. Right. It's been a while since you saw me. Plus, this mask changes my voice. He then takes the visor and the mask off to reveal his true identity. It was... It was Deku. Izuku Midoriya. Bakugo go was in complete shock of this. Thinking things like, but uh, how? I thought that you. And Izuku said, I know you have a lot of questions. So let's go on. Let's go for a walk back to your house. Maybe I can give you some answers. While on the walk, Bakugo asks, How will you... How were you able to do that? You're corkless. Is it... Bakugo added, Is it because of the armor? Baku and Izuku just chuckles, going, This power of mine has nothing to do with the cork or the armor I'm wearing. It was given to me by an anonymous benefactor, a scientist, if you may. See Bakugo. Go. That kid was correct. I'm. I was sent forward in time. Although he didn't say what time it was. I was put back... I was put forward in time for a thousand years. I appeared out of nowhere in a strange world. I quickly hid in a science lab. Where a scientist found me, figured out who I was, and decided to help me out. He then told me what happened been over the past a thousand years. Everything that happens from here and a thousand years from now, I now know. He even told me about, about my mom and dad. And when he did, he gave me a special amulet. I held it in my hands. And as, it, as I did, I felt the certain type of energy flow through me. I couldn't understand it. Now I realized that what was flowing through me 
was power. Ten types of power to be precise. And what type of power where I control at the moment depends on the the color of my eyes. Red, fire. Orange, that's when I go on defense mode. Yellow is when I'm speeding. Green, I become the mother nature. Blue, I become Poseidon. With purple, I become the most agile person in the world. With brown, I'm able to move move the earth with my bare hands. Black, I can with black, I can move mountains with a sip, simple finger flick. With gray, I am able to make tornadoes with the snap of my fingers. And with white, I gain the full power of the mind. But unfortunately, that's where I'm going to leave it off. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, boom, so that I'm gonna... <coughs> Sorry. Boom, so that I'm going to cross face. Catch you next time, guys. Latest.